hi guys welcome back to pouches and more and today we'll be preparing this beautiful coin pouch it's got a swivel clasp in the side in which we can hang our keychain we can also remove this keychain it's got a single zip pocket it's a simple coin pouch so it's got a single pocket it's completely lined from inside the back is quilted the front is not quilted it can also hold a keychain so we can keep the keychain also inside and with the clasp we can hang this coin pouch in our bags so this is how it looks so let's check out the materials required to make this coin pouch We require one piece of main fabric which has been quilted and one piece of lining fabric both of them measure 5 inches by 4 inches then we require one piece of main fabric which has been fused with interfacing and one piece of lining this measures 5 inches by 2 and a half inches next we require one piece of false leather it has also been fused with interfacing and one lining this measures 5 inches by 1 and 3 fourth next we require for the zip tap one piece of fabric measuring 1 inch by 1 inch also a 1 inch by 1 inch piece of fabric fused with interfacing is required for the pull tab so we will be putting the clasp and one swivel clasp now we require very small zip for this i've got a long zip we require around 8 inches zip so these are all the materials required so first we prepare the zip tab for that on one part of the one piece of the zip we have removed the metal piece and we will be placing the zip tab like this and we will be making a straight stitch so it's a simple zip tab that we will be preparing so we will make a straight stitch over here we have made a straight stitch we will just flip it over now like this and we will be making two folds on this cloth and again we will have to make a stitch over here the zip tabs are comfortable when we stitch on the zip so we will make a straight stitch over here Next we will be attaching the zip tab for that we have kept the body of the main fabric the front part. So the front part main fabric this has only been fused with interfacing right side is facing sorry right side is facing up. Now the zip will be facing down right side facing down we will be attaching it like this we will align it from the side and the top. Now we'll take the lining fabric again right side facing right side align it from the side and the top and we'll just be clipping it so align it from the sides and top and we'll just be clipping it now. Now we need to make a straight stitch over here. We need to make a top stitch for that we will just turn this over, hand press the entire thing. This fabric is only fused, it is not quilted, we will hand press the entire thing and make a top stitch over here. Now for the other part, this, is, this step is completely optional, I will be marking a center and attaching the label over here, it is completely optional. In case you do not want to attach a label, you can just skip this part. So I have attached the label, I have just stitched the label over here on the center. Now what we need to do is, we need to place this right side on the main fabric right side. So on the other side of the other side of the zip, we are just going to align it and put the right sides together like this. We are going to align it on the from the tab side. So right sides are together now we will flip it over we have got the lining fabric so lining fabric also right sides will be together align it from the side and the top and ju we will just be clipping it so here lining fabrics right sides together and this side main fabric right sides together a straight stitch over here now 
now for the top stitch again we'll be hand pressing the entire thing both lining fabric and main fabric we'll just open it like this and make a straight stitch this is the top stitch now for the pull tab on the other side where we'll be putting the swivel clasp we'll take this fabric this is one inch by one inch fold it in half get the raw edges to the center and again may fold it now we need to make a stitch over here we'll be inserting the clasp in this but first we'll just make a stitch on this so the stitch is done now we'll insert the clasp like this and we'll put it together we will be attaching this on the other side of the zip so on one side we put the tab on the other side we'll be attaching this so for that what we are going to do is we'll take this fabric which we have finished this uh, front part now on the slider side we are going to pull the slider inside before attaching this tab so pull the slider inside and we'll be attach keeping the tab over here and we need to make a straight stitch over here so the slider is inside the raw edges out and the swivel clasp is inside we have made a straight stitch now we'll just cut off the extra zip so this is done this is our back part which has been quilted we'll take the lining fabric and on the lining side that is the right sides together of the lining fabric so i'm just going to place it like this align it from all the sides and we'll have to make a stitch all around so we'll just align it properly right sides together of the lining fabric and we are just going to clip it now we need to make a stitch all around so a pocket will be complete once this is done so we'll make a stitch all around over here So our pocket is completely ready now we'll take the main fabric this is quilted and we'll put it on the main fabric so right sides are together again and we'll be making a stitch all around and we'll leave a small opening the opening will be on the bottom of the pouch not on the top side but on the bottom side of the pouch we'll be making a stitch so this is our opening we'll not be stitching over here and we'll stitch all around now So we have stitched all around and we have also left the opening now we are just going to cut the corners and then we are going to turn it right side out so we have turned it right side out we have pushed out the corners and this is how it will be looking the bottom is open we will be hand stitching this thing so we completed the pouch we have hand stitched the bottom the back part is quilted the front part is not quilted it's only fused and it's a single pocket coin pouch this is how it looks and we've also attached a swivel clasp so please to try this thanks for watching bye